almost fell down. and welcome to the Mountain Forge. Since I've got a week off from school, I thought why not use the free time to film something. And since it's also winter season and it's that cold outside that water freezes, why not use it? So in today's video, I'll teach you how to make pikeret. You'll realize in a few minutes where you're seeing this bottle of water, because before making pikeret, we have to understand what it is. So pikeret is a composite material made of water and uh, any form of wood pulp frozen together and uh, you'll end up with a concrete type material. Um, we'll use newspaper because you can use sawdust, uh, regular paper, even toilet paper or books. But don't use books, read them. Now, we'll make a handle out of it for a hammer and we'll test how strong and tough and resistant this pikeret really is. Let's do it. Dumbbell. Cutter. Blacksmith. More blacksmith. Now we're talking. This dumbbell being the head of the hammer, we have to make a mold around it in which we'll put the newspaper and we'll pour water. And since I have a history in soaking cardboard, we're not gonna make the mold out of cardboard. It didn't work. It didn't work. No. We're gonna make it out of styrofoam. Because styrofoam doesn't soak, you know? It simply doesn't. Okay, so the theory behind all this is that we have to surround the dumbbell with styrofoam and make a long handle. We'll make it full size so it will be fun. And um, I'll trace the pieces and cut them and I'll show you the ending result. How am I even a blacksmith if I keep making things out of pink styrofoam and toothpicks? I mean, hammer mold, camera stand, if you ever need to make something and you've got styrofoam and toothpicks in your hand, you're all good. I've spent so much time trying to seal it up with tape. And it all turned out nice, but this, this corner is leaking water. And then I remembered, oh wait, I have a glue gun. It's here. So I'll take all the tape out and I'll glue it up.
Welcome back. Meanwhile, I saw that uh, the soaked handle was a lot easier to work, so I added um, a little bit of uh, newspaper on the weak spots, and then I also covered it in toilet paper. And it's so fun to work it uh, when, uh, when it's soaked. It's so easy to work it. I still have to seal this up, and uh, after I do that, we'll put it back inside, uh, soak it up really good, and put it outside. It's all frozen, but I have to confess it still leaked. I don't know why, but I know I did. It did. Through here. Because I saw it. So I had to pour it. Um, fill it up three times more last night but it's frozen now but because it leaked and the water around it froze I can't move it so we gotta open it up There it is. <laughs> He's biting my camera stand. <laughs> So this is done, but it's chunky, so we got to shape it so it's nicer. So there we go guys, it's all done. You'll see it better. Now let's see how tough it is. Let's see if it holds. You know what's coming. I just hope the metal head isn't made out of cast iron because I don't want it to shatter in my face. Let's destroy something more. <laughs> 